Hello Blogineers, we are at San Jose Museum of Art and today we're checking out the new exhibit, Factory of the Sun. And here it is, Factory of the Sun. We came here when they were installing this exhibit and here's what happened. First, we're entering the exhibitions department at the basement of the museum, and this is where they plan all the installations that end up going upstairs for the public to see. This room is where they plan all the future exhibits. Mr. Rich is showing us some digital models on the screen. So these are little still images that were taken from the model. You can freeze frame it and print it. Uh, so again, this gives you a sense of what is this going to look like when you're standing in this space once it's done. And this, this is designed long before it's ever built. So you really get to understand how it's going to feel. And you can make decisions about how big is the truss, where do the chairs go, and things like that. Next, Mr. Rich is showing us his daily schedule. Now we're looking at a model of the upcoming exhibit. So this is going to be a future installation. Every inch represents one foot. All the blue lines are going to be light strips. So this model is to scale, which means that this wiring is also to scale. For every inch of wiring here, it's one foot of wiring in real life. And this helps them plan how they place their wires so that the exhibit can light up. Also, these vertical black things are going to be spaced out like that too. Yeah. So they can say, oh, this thing has to go four boards. Never mind. Wait, hold on. This guy is Pee Wee Herman, and I'm going to set him here. And since this model is to scale, I think he might be five inches. Well, if he's four and a half inches, that means that in real life he'll be four and a half feet. He's Just imagine that. being this little guy and you see this big screen in front of you. Well, that's what the exhibit's going to be like. Inside this particular exhibit, there's going to only be two light sources. One is from the projector which will be playing that video, and the other is just the light strips. And over here is the video that's going to be inside the room that Brother showed you, the one with light strips. The video that we'll be playing upstairs is about many different things, but one of them is that these people are dancing to generate energy to power the planet. Brother's going to dance no. with the Brother's going to dance with the people. Oh, whatever. <laughs> now I feel like I'm Mr. Herman because that's the top of the wall all the way there. So, yeah, I think the scale was right because I'm about as tall as Herman would be if he was a real life human. This is the light tape and this looks all pretty much identical to the model earlier. Actually, it's exactly the same, except the wires are still not here yet because they haven't completed the installation. And, and on the other side of this wall is where the exhibit will be, so we're gonna go there next. We're gonna take a sneak peek at this exhibit. It's a work in progress. It's based on the model that we saw downstairs earlier, and it's called Factory of the Sun. Let's go inside. This is the room and right now they only lit up one light tape because they only plugged it in with that piece of tape. But later on when it's completed, all of these light tapes that you see forming grids around the room will light up. Also, when they were planning the room, they had to make sure that all the squares of light tapes were complete squares and that they perfectly fit from the left side of a wall to the right side and same with top to bottom. So there couldn't be three fourths of a square or half a square. It had to be a full square for all the squares in this room. Basically what he's saying is that they did very complicated math. And so yeah, each side of a square is 45 inches and they had to be very precise with that. So they used a laser that could shoot down one side and the laser kind of wrapped around the entire room so it went up and then all the way around and back down. 
to form a loop. And then with the laser, they knew where to place the tape so that the grids are perfect. The last thing I want to say is that this exhibit has been installed a few times in the past, like in Los Angeles and Chicago, but everywhere that it was installed, they had a, they had a room with different dimensions, which means that instead of 45 inches for each side of the square, it was probably different in the other locations. So they do have to kind of improvise, but the general idea of this room is still the same because they have the light strips forming grids and there will be a huge screen over there. Just imagine that word that Herman do. Oh, and one final thing, if they see these lights up there, they're gonna be removed for the final exhibit. So they just take off the lights and paint over it so it's black. And the only light sources are gonna be the projector and the light strips. So yeah, right now it's a work in progress. They haven't completed it, but we hope to have the opportunity to come back up to San Jose to see this exhibit when it's finally completed. And now let's check out Factory of the Sun. It was from here that they intercepted all signals. of the sun. Brother, what was your favorite part about it? Uh, maybe that the video was kind of like a video game. Yeah, I think for people who like video games, this is a cool concept because it's futuristic video game type of thing. And it, it has a deep meaning to it because even though the exhibit could look futuristic and cool, I think all the people who are dancing are forced to dance to create light for the factory of the sun which is like an artificial light type of factory. And basically all the dancers are slaves and they have to like do the choreography at the same time. And that's why I think there were guns too. They were, were they shooting at the people? Eek. Well, that was my interpretation of Factory of the Sun, but I'm sure everyone interprets it a different way. Aside from the meaning of the exhibit and everything, I think the dance moves were pretty cool and all the effects. They also had a few breaking news segments, which is kind of like what news would look like in the future, or at least in that world. I think the best part about going to this exhibit was that we have been to the behind the scenes version. So after seeing that little tiny model, we're going to the actual real life thing. And the model and the actual exhibit look really similar. It's just the scale that's different. And those light strips that covered the whole room were pretty neat. And that's it. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Bye. I wonder what's in this closed exhibit. Yeah, this. <laughs>